Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to talk about a really important theorem from calculus. It's called the mean value theorem for intervals. Let's go through it very carefully. So the mean value theorem for intervals. We're also going to talk about something called the average value of a function over an interval. That's kind of almost like a consequence of this in our discussion. So first we'll state the theorem and then we'll go through the picture. So suppose you have a continuous function. So suppose f is continuous on the closed interval, so on AB. So on AB. Okay. Then, then you can find the number. So then there is a number. There is a number. C and the closed interval, AB such that the definite integral from a to b of f of x with respect to x is equal to f of c times b minus a. Okay. B minus a. So that's the statement of the mean value theorem for integrals. Okay. Um, if your function is integrable, in other words, if you can integrate it, there is another result that shows that the quantity 1 over b minus a, a to b, f of x to x, is called the average value. So if you assume everything's good, and it's continuous, you can think of this as f of c. So if it's continuous, this is called the average value. So f of c is called the average value of the function. So the mean value theorem for integrals is deeply connected with the average value of a function f of c is the average value of the function. Let's uh, draw a picture so you see what all of this is. It's really, really interesting. So I'm gonna erase this, because we don't need it anymore. And I'll draw the picture up here. So this will be our y-axis, this will be our x-axis. So here's a, and then here's b. Okay, I'm gonna be careful here. This is f of a, all right? And then maybe here, this is f of b, so let's see, this is f of b, good stuff, and then um, maybe draw it like this. There we go, all right, there's our function. And so first, let's examine this. This is the area under the curve, right? So this area here, this is the area, right? That's the area under the curve, right? So the area under the curve, okay, the area under the curve is equal to this expression. So what is this expression? Well, the mean value theorem sa says there is a number c. So I'm going to pick the number to be here so that the picture makes more sense. I'll do it here. So if this is c, this is f of c. Okay, so I'm just picking the number. And what you can do is you can draw a box whose height is f of c. So this is f of c. So f of c is the height of this box. And so what the mean value theorem is saying is that the area under the curve is equal to the area of the box, right? Think about it. If this is A and this is B, then this distance here is B minus A. So remember, the area of a box is the width times the height, right? The height of the box is F of C. The width is B minus A. So this is the height times the width. So the mean value theorem for integrals says if you have a continuous function, if it's continuous, right, there is a number c in the interval such that the area under the curve is equal to the area of the box whose height is f of c. And what is the height of the box? The height of the box is the average value of the function. Deep stuff, pretty wicked. So again, so if you have a and you have b and you draw a picture like this, you should be able to find a box that gives you the same area somewhere. So maybe, maybe this is that box, right? And the height of that box is called the average value of a function, right? So the height of that box is called the average value of the function. In this case, this here would be the value of C, right? And this would be your F of C. F of C is the height of the box. It's the average value of the function, right? The width of the box is B minus A, B minus A, B minus A, B minus A. The height is F of C, right? It's height times width or width times height. So the area under the graph is equal to the area of the box. All right, let's go ahead and, and do a simple example of uh, finding 
um, C, maybe. Let's find C. Let's try to find C. And um, let's try to um, find the average value. So I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can make one up. Uh, let's see. F of x equals, let's see. Um, I guess it, we should be able to, to do this regardless. As long as we have a continuous function, right, this should work. Right? This is, the criteria is we have a continuous function on the closed interval. So if I make one up, we should be able to do it. Here we go. I'm going to try to make up the easiest possible one. f of x equals x squared. Let's just look at 0, 1. Okay. Um, let's, let's find the average value, uh, and then let's find the value of c. So the formula, the way I like to memorize the formula for these problems is as follows. Uh, remember, the, the theorem says you have the definite integral from a to b, and that's equal to f of c, b minus a. So if you divide by b minus a, you get f of c equals 1 over b minus a times the definite integral. So this is the formula I always use for the problems. It's just easier. Right? So I'm going to use this one. f of c is the average value. So if you had to find c, you just work this out, and then you set it equal to f of c. It's pretty simple. Uh, I hope. Let's find out. <laughs> So let's work out this piece first. That'll be the average value. So it'll be 1 over, so this is a and this is b. So it'll be 1 minus 0. And then we're going from 0 to 1. Right, so far so good. And then f of x is x squared. So x squared dx. That's just 1. And then, so it's, so it's just 1. So it's just 1, I won't write it. And then 0 to 1, x squared dx. When you integrate x squared, you get x cubed over 3. And we're going from 0 to 1. Then the fundamental theorem of calculus says you plug in the 1, subtract, and plug in the 0. So you get 1 third minus 0. Right? Because 0 over 3 is 0. So you just get 1 third. So 1 third. So we worked this out, and we got 1 third. Right? So now we just take f of c. Oh, and what is this? This is the average value. This is the height of the box. Right? This is the average value. This is the average value of the function over the interval 0, 1. Right? It's the height of the box right? that gives you the same area as the definite integral from 0 to 1. OK, so now uh, we're going to find f of c. So how do you do that? Uh, well, how, we're going to find c, rather. Sorry, we're going to find c. So we'll set f of c equal to the quantity which we worked out, equal to the average value. Okay. And then we just replace c with what it is. Uh, so we f with what it is. So f of c is the same as f of x, except x is c. So this is c squared equals 1 third. All right, c squared equals 1 third. And then to finish, uh, we just uh, take the square root. So you get c equals plus or minus the square root of 1 third. Ah, we had to throw one of these away, right? Because our c has to be in the interval. So we want the positive one. So that would be the value of c. I hope this video made sense, and I hope it's helped you uh, understand uh, what the mean value theorem is. Uh, in the videos that follow, I have lots of harder examples of finding C and so on. The purpose of this video was mainly to give you the idea of what the mean value theorem is and what the average value of a function is. That's it. Thanks.